there are shrimps in there, there are herbs in there, there are crushed, uh, crushed corn and crushed um, uh, peas in. So it's a really top, top product and it has 25% uh, of protein. So be careful also not to overfeed that of course, huh? because if we are going to give protein from from everywhere, then they might get ag aggressive, of course. But these are um, the main components of our soft food. And then every two months, uh, with the three uh, the three members of the partnership, we go and uh, get uh, 25 kilograms of vegetables, and we we just um, yeah uh, chop them. This is a big. Uh, big bowl, and then we put it in small bags, put it in the free in the freezer, and every day we take one sack out. It's it's fresh, um, and we we just divide it over the breeding uh, the breeding rooms that are working, and that's how we do it. You, you just take one one sack uh, out of the freezer every day. You let it, uh, um, yeah, how should defreeze or defrost, yeah. And then it, um, yeah, you put it in the soft food. It, it's all, and it's fresh. It are fresh vegetables, you have chopped them, and one hour later they're in the freezer. So uh, it works out well for, for us. And you don't have to clean the, the machine for shopping every day, you know. You have always the, the right amount of vegetables ready uh, to do it. So, yeah, that's how we do it. Uh, and then we have a, a different assortment <coughs> of seeds where we use, and birds get it not, not all every day, but we, uh, we change. So we have uh, Pagina Green, Delicia, Fonio, Badi, Mohair, White Perula, Wild, wild of Wheat Seeds, and Red Millet Sprays. That's, but um, yeah, you can see they get some of them on a daily basis, some of them every two or three days. But, uh, it's not, yeah, our birds don't have uh, water and only water and seed anymore. They have uh, quite a big uh, variety of, of seeds. Just on that, uh, Mark, do you feed those in a dish? Because there's lots of small seeds in there, like the Pony and Paddy. Yeah, you know, we, we have in the, in the flight, we have small, small dishes, and we put like five, six different small dishes in, in there. And what they left, we just throw it out in the evening, and the next day they go into search through what's left, yeah. and uh, we just clean it up and put new one in the day after. So, so and we also give uh, some grit and minerals. I use Alan Adams tribe and this tribe and gloss and seaweed. Um, we have a grit mixture and a mineral powder that we give. So. You can see uh, the diet of our birds is quite uh, quite impressive. I think they eat better than I do, but um, yeah. Um, until now, it works for us. I know everybody has his own ideas about feeding. I'm just saying what we're doing, and everybody can decide what he if he uses something or if, or if he doesn't use something. Yeah. So, and that's something we also do. We, we uh, throw willow branches, fresh nettles, French dandelions, grass seed, chickweed uh, into the flights. Not on a daily basis, uh, but uh, once a week. Whatever is available. Um, I think I have a video. I have some mint also, yeah. I have that in my garden. Oregano. You can see the willow branches. and. It's always fun to see what the... I, you know, I spray them with uh, F10 before I, uh, I put them in the flight. And yeah, they like, when, it's, when they are wet, birds are like, like to wash them in the willow branches. But uh, yeah. <coughs> This is fun. Uh, you see, this is, was a baby flight. 
it's fun huh, to see how the birds uh, love to go in there. And they, they just chew. I actually don't know if they really eat something, but it's uh, also something to pass the time for them. You can see one hour later it looked like that. So, uh, yeah. <coughs> you know, I like to use um, branches like that in the flight. There will always be branches like that. Because if we all use the same dimensions of uh, the perches, the birds will not um, grab the feet well anymore after a time. Because they always have the same dimensions to grab. So I like to put small, big branches in the flight so that they have to find their, um, how should I say, their balance. And they have to find the balance and uh, to grab it well. And you can see also it's important for showing because you have to look, you have to look, have a look at showbirds. Many of the showbirds, they put the one of the back toes on top of the perch. And that's mainly the fault of all, all the same dimensions of perch that, uh, that people have in, the, uh, in their breeding room or in, uh, in the flights. So that's why I like, uh, I, of course we have our main um, perches, but always there are some natural branches, small, big, in the flight to make sure that the birds also grab and need to seek their balance. So what do we do with the water? So if you see um, week one, we put the two days liquid cal calcium, uh, four days uh, amino acid. This is uh, a supplement with amino acids and vitamin B complex that we put in there. I have seen that this is very important to build up immunity. Um, we are using this amino acids and vitamin B complex uh, already for many years and we have seen that it prevents birds of getting French mold, not completely, you cannot do it, but it gets birds stronger. The immunity system is boosted by that product and um, I, I, will, I will continue using that. And then of, of course every week we put two days with fresh lemon juice. We have a big bucket of water and we just squeeze two lemons in, in that water. It just, some give apple vinegar, but I like um, the natural acidity of uh, lemon. So it's also it's to get the, the right pH uh, in, in the crop of, uh, of the bird and then uh, you will not have big problems with fungus and so on. So I, that's every week, two days a week, fresh lemon juice. Uh, and also the bonus is that you get uh, an extra vitamin C. Um, in the second week, we have two days of fresh water without anything in it. Um, two days, uh, again, with the amino acids. Two days of fresh lemon juice. And then I have a liquid probiot probioticum that I use. Um, and that's one day every two weeks. So what about medication? Already, uh, it's something you have to do twice a year. It's a, it's a treatment with Trichor Plus for trichomonasis. I think uh, it's easy, five days, Trichor Plus, and uh, your birds cannot have, uh, yeah, cannot have problems with that. So, and then in the resting period, uh, we do a treatment of more or less eight weeks. Um, to be honest, uh, we are not doing the full treatment every year. This year, I skipped the Megabac S because I see that birds didn't have Megabac. I already already got them tested by uh, by my vet, and um, with uh, with the lemon juice and so on, birds were really good. So I skipped the Megabac S. Let's hope that was not a, a mistake I made, but. Um, uh, Solidox is a, a broad spectrum antibiotic, antibiotic um, that we give for six weeks. Uh, Trico Plus is also in that resting period. And Cytictin is uh, something we give once a month. And that's uh, 
actually is, you know, some people give the, the ivermectin drops in the neck. Cydectin is something you can add in the water um, once a month and you don't have red, red mites and it's a dewormer also. So, yeah, that, uh, that's more or less the, treat, the treatment we are doing once a year. And uh, then we're using one product, is Super Ornithosomix. Actually, uh, this is something we use when the, the chicks are hatching. Um, we start giving that one day before the first uh, chick should hatch to the breeding pair, and we stop with it when the youngest chick is one week old. You know, sometimes you have chicks that uh, become red and uh, they they look like very, uh, yeah, they look very bad. Uh, so they, um, yeah, they don't grow well. Um, by doing that, we have never, we have never seen that anymore. So it, uh, yeah, this, this is a product that we use just to get the chicks through the first two, three weeks, and um, yeah, it works well. So then, disinfection. <laughs> We spray with the F10 nearly on a daily basis in the nest boxes. We use uh, AIL every six weeks. Um, and then we use the, the stronger um, disinfectants, uh, what SID20 or Virgin S in the resting period, but you cannot do that when the birds are in. And we, all, we are using this fogging machine I bought in England. It works, it works great. For me, that's one of the best things I bought. Uh, it's really working well. <coughs> so we are at, at the end of part one. Um, we can already have perhaps a short question and answer about this part. Uh, I don't know, where is Ron? Uh, Ron, what do you want to do? We want to do the questions and I'll answer afterwards or you want to do it now? Okay. <laughs> so okay, are there questions? But we don't have to do questions and answers if there are no questions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The will all branch. You notice that you get the leaves off. That's something that probably never done. To be yeah, you have to be sure that you get them somewhere where they, they don't, they're not near a road or something. We have a, a big forest where a friend of me has a piece of land and there are a lot of willow, <coughs> willow trees on there, so I, I just get them there. And, um, but I, I, I spray them with F10 uh, to get, yeah. If there are some bacteria, they, they, go, they go away, but they love to peel off uh, the branches and they love to peel off the, the skin of the, of the willow. Yeah. I have a willow tree in my garden, you see, but when I give it a mouth, take the leaves off. It's just yeah, some people do that, but. It doesn't do any harm then. No? No. I'll do it. Yeah? Um, do you not find that F10 is a little bit strong? Is it use it in your nest boxes? You can also use it. So well, you can even use it in the drinking water. If you put it um, 8 mil per liter, then it's too strong. But I use it in the nest boxes, I use it at four mil uh, per liter. And then I just even, I, I even spray it on the birds then. It's, it's really not a problem. And if you do it um, in the water, I have to check because I don't do it in the water, but you can do it. It's one or two mil, I think. I don't, I don't know it exactly. But it's mentioned, it's mentioned on the bottom. But for me, F10 is a good product. Yeah. Yeah. For me, um, it works out well. It's it's um, in my garden. I have like um, I don't know how how to say it in English. It's it's a bit higher. Uh, a box, a wooden box. Yeah, yeah. With all and there, I have all my herbs in there around my terrace, completely around my terrace. So I, I think in total, it's half a meter wide and twenty meter long around my terrace and up there are all my herbs and I think that's my 
luck because the slacks cannot go up. Uh, we have, it's, it's like 60 centimeter high and they don't go up because on, on top of it, the, there is like a, a cover and they cannot go up. And yeah, at the moment, uh, every, um, in, in April, April it starts, I have plenty of, of fresh herbs. It works out very well. And the birds love it. Yeah? What's your routine of cleaning your breeding cages out? Obviously they see fixed. Yeah, um, you know I have spare boxes. So what do we do is we have always a, a clean box uh, ready. Um, we take, when the birds are in the nest cage, nest uh, box, you just take the nest box out, you, you put it on a new one, you take the dirty one out and you, you put the, the, the clean one in. The birds don't even know that something has happened. That, and you just, then you, you start cleaning up the, the dirty one and we have a few spare boxes so it, it works so easy. It's, uh, yeah, yeah, that's how we do it. And we do it, let's say, Okay, it depends. It depends on the time we have, but we try to do it uh, once every month. Yeah. <coughs> Any other questions? Yeah, yeah. Martin, I noticed you give uh, one or two of the medications very similar to what we do. But on the, find, not finding a problem, just wondering how you, you cope with it. You know, on the resting period, Sometimes it drops in that you've got your trichome, you've got your megabyte, and you've also got, well, that's 76. So, yeah, it's, it's like the Ronivetes or something like that, uh, the solid ox cat. Yeah. yeah. Do, do, do you sort of put them in together, not in the water together, but like close, or do you like to leave a couple of weeks? Yeah, I like, I like to leave a week in between. A week, yeah. And put them so, on some probiotics at, yeah. in that week. That's yeah. important. That, because if you're doing all next to each other, you it, it, the birds will suffer. Yeah. Uh, for sure, when you do, I can see when you're doing the mega back treatment that the birds are a little bit, um, their condition go a little bit under. But yeah. Afterwards, they they get on better, of course. But uh, yeah. Yeah. It's the first, first year we're going to use the mega back X, but as I say, we're using the trichome, we're using the other one. It sometimes come a bit close together. I just wondered what the yeah. sort of gap. Was. I don't like to do it in the breeding season, so. No, yeah, um, we're not in breeding season. No. Yeah, um, but yeah. Okay, you ready for the break then? Good. Okay, see you, see you in, uh, I don't know, uh, Ron, how long? He's not here, I, I think, I think half an hour or 20 minutes, I don't know, we'll see. See each other uh, then.